I can get it to track that blue ball in any 3D environment. At the largest science fair in the world, there's no limit to the imagination. Whether it's this virtual reality computer system. The Kinect sensor is actually picking up all 10 of my fingers. Or a drum set built right into a pair of pants. 16-year-old Marion Bechtel from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, created this acoustic device to detect landmines. A lot of people say it sounds like a lightsaber. Right, it does. Yeah, it's like Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Austin Duff of Montgomery County, Maryland, has an idea with more legs. I'm applying what the human mind does to allow robotics to advance further than it already is. How old are you? I am uh, 17 and I'm a senior in high school. But there's growing concern that the United States is not producing enough Austins and Marions. Among 34 industrialized nations, American 15-year-olds currently rank 17th in science and a dismal 25th in math. That's why tech companies such as Intel, which sponsors the fair, are trying to get more young people interested in math and science. This is our future. If we don't have this talent coming out that pipeline, we can't survive. Educators say part of the problem is the way we teach students. So there's now a push for public schools to devote more time to science and math. Negative 8P and 72. At the Mendez Learning Center, a new high school in Los Angeles, many students spend three hours each day on science and math. A times C is? Freshman Kareen Escalera was struggling before she came here. I was like straight F student in math. Now I have a C and a B. I'm going up and that's awesome. <laughs> President Obama's goal is to train 100,000 math and science teachers by 2015. We want to start making science cool. Marion Bechtel would love for science to be as cool as sports. No, science isn't just for incredible geniuses. It's for everyday people. I have something for you. And getting more young people into it is now the equation our country is trying to solve. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.